We remember a man who shaped TV news as we know it. Don Hewitt, creator of TV's first ever half hour newscast and the still popular news magazine 60 Minutes, died at age 86 yesterday from pancreatic cancer. Hewitt's career here at CBS began in 1948 and spanned six decades. Don, will you push a button and bring in the Atlantic Coast? As the man behind the pioneering broadcasts of Edward R. Murrow and Walter Cronkite, Don Hewitt defined television news. I guess I'm the sort of the ultimate television creature. I feel it. I live it. I breathe it. And for more than 60 years, Hewitt helped shape the medium as we know it. First question now to Senator Kennedy. The first televised presidential debate with John F. Kennedy and Richard Nixon happened under Hewitt's direction, and some say determined the election. There's very little I remember about the debate except Nixon's atrocious makeup. I looked at him on camera and I thought, oh my God, this is trouble. All right, we're going to look at it again. Uh, you ready? For all his innovation, management didn't always agree with Don Hewitt. He was eventually pulled from his position with the Evening News and pushed into the network's documentary division. He was out of a job. He was on salary at CBS, but he was out of a job. And he had some nutty notion about a magazine yet unnamed. With the creation of 60 Minutes, Hewitt brought news to prime time and to the top of television's ratings. I mean, this broadcast was his heart and soul. And, uh, and his baby, right from the start. He started doing 60 Minutes the way it's done now, and it's, it's, um, it's his fault. We got a piece to look at. Hewitt attributed the show's success to we one simple to rule. It's four little words. Yeah. Tell me a story. And that's all we do. Tell him a story. This gets fascinating. Don Hewitt had a passion for telling stories, stories that defined a career and delivered some of the most memorable moments in television history. Don certainly has been very important to television journalism, maybe the single most important person.